Look, council member, I don't think I'll be able to guarantee you everything that you're asking for. Uh, Travis, these are all very reasonable requests. Oh, I agree, which is why I'd like to ask Mr. Osman to make me some guarantees. I'm already conceding the race to you. What if you didn't? Travis. What if I concede the race to you? Travis, uh, can, I, can I speak to you over here for a second? No, no, if I don't say this now, I won't say it at all. Rubel, you're the better candidate. Travis! Okay, let him talk. You have dedicated your life to understanding things that I'm just now beginning to learn. And while we're both public servants and I think we both truly want what's best for this city, I think we both know what or who that is. He's, a, he's emotional. We just need a time out here. So to... I'd like your commitment to protect the Crisis One program, to increase the FD budget by at least 15%, and to secure a liaison with the LGBTQIA community. Also, please give Eli a job. If you can make me all those guarantees, not only will I endorse you, but I'll campaign for you. Put my full weight behind you. You have my word. Thank you, Miss Montgomery. You're a good man. Seattle could use more people like you. I'll be in touch. Sir? Eli, I'm sorry. It's just, it's the right thing to do. Well, if you excuse me, I've got to go and beg the next mayor of Seattle for a job. Eli, hey. Think he's ever gonna want to date me after this? <laughs> date y you? Yeah, I mean, it wasn't a good idea, but we slept together the other night. <laughs> and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go get some air. And um, well, Andy and Eli were dating. Where she wanted them to be, but I guess 